Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Soul Good. I'm Amber Marie, and this is your February 2022 Tarot Scope. If you're curious about the decks that I'm using today, you can find a list of them in the description box below. There are also links to my social media accounts, as well as a link to information on personal readings if you're curious about those. There are also other little details down there, please do remember that this is a general reading and so maybe it won't everything won't resonate with you. That's okay. It doesn't mean that it isn't your reading. It just means that, you know, perhaps this information isn't for you at this time or there are parts that are not for you at this time. Okay. So let's jump right in Gemini and see what's going on for you during the month of February. Please, universe spirits, guides, angels, our cosmic team, our ancestors, our higher selves. What can you tell us, please, about Gemini's February 2022? Okay. What can you tell us about Gemini in February 2022, please? Can you tell us about Gemini? Okay, thank you. All right, so you do have the Four of Swords coming out straight away, Gemini. Um, and this is a, or four, did I say Four of Swords? I don't know if I said that, but Four of Wands. I don't know why. That's weird. That might be relevant. Um, which Four of Swords is about rest and uh, restoration, kind of this contem uh, contemplative energy. Uh, so you maybe were resting um, during the month of January, or maybe you felt like you were resting, or you know, maybe took a break or something like that. Um, but for the month of February, you have the four of wands coming out straight away, which is this card of celebration. It's a card about community and home as well. It can be a card about marriage, um, which I mean, it is the month of love. So you, some of you may be, you know, finding yourselves getting engaged or, you know, getting into a committed relationship. Um, it is also this card of like milestones and achievements. So I feel like the month, the energy coming through again, for some, you may find yourselves getting into a long-term or committed relationship, getting engaged, um, that sort of thing. There is also this energy, this nervous type of energy with the page of swords. Okay. Um, so for some of you, you know, if that is true, you know, if you're getting into a committed relationship, this may be something that brings you kind of this nervousness or antsy kind of, or anxious um, kind of energy, right? Uh, you may have had some traumas or woundings there, right? So there could be that for some, I don't feel like that is for everyone, of course. Uh, but overall the energy feels more about kind of coming into this new level of understanding, right? Because again, this can be a card of like milestones reached. And I feel like you may, may during the month of February, come to this new space of understanding. And I feel like it piques your curiosity. I feel like it starts to ask you to kind of dive deeper, get quiet maybe. Um, but to dive deeper and be curious about this energy, right? About, um, what you can do next or, or it brings you to this, this, I don't know. It just feels like, where can I go now? Right? What's the next level? What can I achieve? What can I understand? You know, things like that is the energy that I'm picking up on. Um, but you could also come to, yeah, come to this space of, um, I feel like it's this, it could be coming to this space of knowing or understanding kind of what feels celebratory of, uh, I feel like it's like a knowing about your path because there's this energy of excitement that comes with it, right? There may be this energy of like nervousness, um, a little bit with the page of swords, but I feel like it's more curiousness than anything. And I feel like there's something here about like reaching a new level where you've aligned with something that brings you this level of excitement, this, this feeling of freedom, right? And this like wanting to plan for the future looking at what's possible, right? So I definitely feel like there's this exciting new energy coming in because I feel like you may reach new levels uh, during the month of February. All right. And what is something important that Gemini should be mindful of this month, please? 
something important that Gemini should be mindful of. Something important that Gemini should be mindful of this month, please. Something important Gemini should be mindful of for the month of February 2022. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. So you have death and rebirth out with the Ace of Cups. Okay. So with the death card, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right. Uh, the Ace of Cups is this energy of like new feelings. Also, it can be about intuition and spirituality. Um, but I feel like, again, I feel like you've reached this new level. I feel like you have experienced uh, or could have or will during the month of February, this death and rebirth experience that brings you to this new way of feeling new. How do I? Yeah, it just feels like this energy because this was this was face down. Right, this one came up or was face up, even though it came out second. And I just got this strong energy of like new feelings, right? New feelings. And then with the death and rebirth, it's like you've come to this new way of being about something, right? This new way of feeling about something. And I feel like it's because you may have reached this new level of maybe understanding, you know, something about your path or where you're meant to be going. Right. And I feel like you're curious about it because you have these new feelings about it, about your path or life or, you know, your experience or what have you. It just, it, yeah. Again, you know, if I feel like if, if your story is the one where, you know, maybe somebody, um, you get committed or, you know, decide to commit in a relationship. I don't say get committed. <laughs> but if you commit in a relationship, okay, and that's something that makes you nervous or anxious because you've experienced heartbreak before, like understand this is a new beginning. This is an opportunity for a new beginning to experience love and new feelings, right? Or experience feelings in a different way. Okay, Exper and ex again, experience new feelings because I feel like there is an opportunity here for a new, yeah, just, it's like this new way of being and understanding when it comes to, you know, if again, relationships or commitment in general. Yeah. Cause I feel like there are illusions being, being exposed, right? Because I feel like there's this bigger picture that's taken place, like this bigger picture thinking that's taken place. Of course you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo, but um, I feel like there's this come this. Yeah. And it's interesting because my voice is like different. It's, and it kind of feels a little bit blocked. So I feel like there's like a breakthrough that may have taken place, right? Where you've come to this bigger picture thinking or this new way of understanding. And I feel like it has to do with what is going to make you happy. What is going to bring you this fulfillment? What is going to help you to achieve your dreams? And I feel like you have, again, I've come to the space of knowing like, hanging on to your past, right? Is not how you, it's not how you achieve your dreams, right? So let's see what, what should Gemini embrace to have the best possible February, 2022, please. What should Gemini embrace? You have the, the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups showing up again. So, you know, I'm going to keep going, but I feel like there's a lot to be said about that big picture thinking and uh, your dreams coming true, what that's going to take. Like, look at it from a bigger picture. Don't be so focused on the minor details. Make sure you're stepping back and looking at it from a bigger perspective as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. And what, sh what should Gemini be embracing to have the best possible February 2022, please? What should Gemini be embracing to have the best possible February 2022, please? All right. So you do, oh, you do have the magician coming out first, right? So there is this feeling of like coming to, coming into self, right? The magician is this energy of mastery and, and creation. Um, but it is also this card of like 
having the skills and resources and everything within you, right? You have everything you need to be able to create the reality that you want, right? So I feel like embrace that magician within you. Embrace your ability to co-create your reality. Embrace this death and rebirth as a process and a means by which you can come into who you're supposed to be, right? You can really, I'm seeing it as like sinking into, like you could really like as if you're sitting into a beanbag chair or something like sink, really sinking into the energy of this creative master that you are and the tools that you hold within you. Right. And then you have again, I just it's this feeling you have the knight of swords with the hierophant. The knight of swords is this energy of um, action. Right. And I feel like, oh, here's the thing too. Oh, wow. Yeah. So here's what's interesting. The Knight of Swords can be about defending beliefs. And the Hierophant is this card of um, typically like tradition, legacy, um, society, organized religion. It's these outdated kinds of things that or we would see now as outdated, right? Um, and I feel like those things, those beliefs, that you may have had in the past could have been holding you back from aligning with who you are and everything that you have within you to really progress you or take you along your path. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be true for everyone. I doubt that it is anyways, but I'm just saying for some, there is that energy of these outdated beliefs and ways of thinking, whether that, you know, maybe that is around commitment. It could very well be. Um, but I, no matter what it's about, I feel like there may have been outdated beliefs and ways of thinking that you may have been defending, you know, and holding on to with maybe not even knowing. Right. But I feel like this death and rebirth process that's taking place that's creating this new way of being and this new understanding of self, you know, may allow you to now take action towards what is in alignment with you, right? So I'm seeing it a couple of different ways. But I feel like embracing your ability to, and I'm, I'm seeing this as also altering your path right? Um, you know, that Knight of Swords is on his feet, but he's also got that bike there. And then, you know, you have the Hierophant who is kind of like sitting in place, but has the stairs before him, right? And so I'm seeing it as like, also, you know, embracing that flexibility to be able to move and adapt much like the magician, right? The magician is sitting and then you have the Knight of Swords who has, is running towards a bike. And then you have the Hierophant who's again sitting, right? So it's like, you know, you have to be willing to make the moves that are necessary in order to align with your path and where you're supposed to be going and what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Um, but I, I feel if you, again, there's that energy, this is the energy two of swords is energy of, um, difficult choices or indecision and stagnant or being stuck. And I feel like the reasoning behind that is because of those outdated beliefs. Right. I feel like those things were keeping you stuck or the inability to adapt. Right. To, to kind of go with the flow and, and, you know, see what happens to kind of. I don't know, maybe there was like an avoidance of the work that needed to be put in to allow yourself to heal. Perhaps it's possible. Right. Uh, giving yourself <laughs> the opportunity to no longer suffer, trusting your intuition, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I just definitely feel here there's, there's this uh, need to embrace your inner magician, your inner master, okay? So let's see, what does Gemini soul want to say to them for the month of February 2022, please? Okay, inner temple devotion tune into the portal of your heart yeah i get that with the ace of cups down here as well right tuning into that the portal of your heart again because i do feel like there are new feelings coming up i also feel that feel like that has to do with trusting your intuition right even though there are things that may 
present themselves that um, give you a bit of anxiety or make you a bit nervous, um, you know, or feel like this kind of death and rebirth process, like tune into your heart because I feel like it's guiding the way it's trying to lead you back to you. There's also the message again, which is interesting because we did see at the bottom of the tarot, deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. I do feel like there's this energy of needing to forgive yourself for some of you. Don't know what that's about. Um, but I do feel like there's the energy there for some, but there's also this energy of, you know, with a death and rebirth process, you want to be able to give yourself the time to integrate, to process, to think, to, you know, really allow what you've learned and gained and now have an understanding about to sink into, to sink in. And you can't do that if you're constantly going and moving, right? So there is this energy of needing to take care of yourself, to allow yourself to process when you need to, to go be quiet if needed, um, to take a break, right? To step back, to allow yourself the rest, right? Yeah. And you have here too, the bottom of the deck leap, you go first, the universe will catch you, right? So again, another message of a new beginning, but you have to be willing to be flexible, right? To go with the flow, to move when you need to move, to sit when you need to sit, to be still, listen, when you need to, to rest, when you need to, there's that need to be flexible. Okay. Can we have a message of wisdom for Gemini for the month of February, 2022, please? Can you please have some wisdom for Gemini? Okay. All right. You have orphaned the number five. So the number five is about um, instability, change, and conflict. And here's the thing I want to share with you. With this energy, I get this feeling of when you experience a death and rebirth process, right? Many times you align with different energetic frequencies than you did before. And what happens is those that are no longer, and I say those very loosely, right? It can be people, it can be jobs, it can be living situations, it can be umpteen different things. It just depends on you, your experience. And, and, and all sorts of other different factors, right? But as you start to align with different frequencies, there are times that you are left alone or feel alone because there are people that are falling away who no longer match that frequency, that vibration that you're carrying, right? And so you can feel left out. You can feel alone, but know that if that is how you're feeling, know that you are on the precipice, Right? You're, it's like, there's a new ground. You like may feel alone, but you need that time to be alone for change to be able to take place for, um, you to be able to understand what's going on, right? Sometimes there needs to be that, that aloneness for these things to take place, right? And also for things to fall away so that other things can move in, right? As well. We also have this energy of the thinker. This is the number 44, which reduces to eight. Okay. And this is about mastery and accomplishment and action. I'm going to lovingly say, Gemini, don't get too wrapped up in your own thoughts. Don't allow your thoughts to um, hinder you. Don't allow them to trap you. Don't allow them to spiral you out. Right. It's okay to think it's okay to ponder it's okay that's fine right but don't allow it to drown you don't allow your thoughts to drown you or to hinder your path or to stop you from moving forward and taking action instead breathe go with the flow this is the number 29 which reduces to 12 which is three which is about growth Right. And here we have, we give ourselves the room to grow when we give ourselves permission to breathe and go with the flow. When we release expectations, when we allow the universe to deliver us what's meant for us, instead of trying to control everything. Right. So I feel like there's this energy of needing to go with the flow and trusting that the universe is going to deliver to you. Yes, exactly what you need your milk and honey right? This is the number 51, which reduces to six, which is about cooperation, healing, and harmony. 
And I'm seeing this, you know, here we have the rainbow, which is about protection. So I do feel like you're protected. I do feel like, you know, everything that's happening is for a reason. It's about your path and your purpose. But know that as you breathe and let go and go with the flow, that your milk and honey essentially will find its way to you, right? What is meant for you will find you. It's protected, okay? So Gemini, thank you so much for being here. I really hope that this is been beneficial for you or valuable in some kind of way. Um, I hope you have an incredible February. I'm sending you so much love, tons of hugs. Take care of your beautiful soul, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Bye.